Hello everybody and welcome back to some Morphine Folia. In the last deleted episode, everyone said they'd like to see more. So we're going to do another deleted episode. We'll most likely die. That tends to be how deleted goes. But a lot of fun. But we're going to play as one of the different modes this time. I'm not sure which. We've got a different uh, few. So we've got I Love You, Red Hearts Only, Corrupted Items No Longer Have Negative Effects. Um, start with the D14, a six room charge pocket item which corrupts one room only. Um, no corrupted items, use extract to reroll any item while adding a negative effect to it. Uh, no red hearts, corrupted effects are concealed but they provide a damage bonus. And deleted is stuck in the corrupted form, use clean to reverse corruption. Eden mode, start with random stats and items in appearance. Um, I don't know what the hell the spacebar does there. Uh, deleted cannot pick up he um, health. For each negative effect, gain half a soul heart. Hell yes, we're going to try this one out. Sounds awful. <laughs> so, we cannot gain HP. Um, oh, God. This is probably going to be a very swift death. I kind of forget how aggressive these enemies are. We start with good stats, though. Uh, but, yeah. For every negative effect, we gain ourselves some more stats. So, I guess we just need to be taking as many... I don't know if it said negative effects or just effects from items. Either way, we need to be taking as many corrupted items as we can. Uh, ideally... Oh, by the way, I'm going to die in this room. These enemies are absolutely a huge pain in the ass. It's the little burn that they fire that is really teeny tiny and very hard to keep track of. Like, when there's a few of them, it's not so bad. But as you can see, the burn is, like, real small. That one spewed a fire out, you cheeky bugger. Right, so we definitely want to uh, turn over this guy. On hit, use this uh, on get down floor. You, um, use two times the reverse chariot. Every 12 rooms, get whatever item that is. Hell yes, we'll take it. That didn't give us a half soul heart. I can't remember how this character works. <laughs> um, maybe it's just because that didn't have a negative effect. Maybe that was just a random chance that it didn't have a negative effect. Either way, not an amazing item because it's uh, the, the main effect is on hit, which does reasonably little for us. Um, I don't think the reverse chariot on entering the next floor is really going to do anything for us either. Uh, but hey ho. Where's this fella? There he is. We'll see how we go. There's meant to be health in here, but I don't think... Yeah, we can't pick it up. Good to know. <laughs> I'm going to probably do a few attempts as this guy because it just seems fun and it seems like an interesting challenge and the developer did sort of tell me to try it. See if I could beat it. And I really want to prove to them that I can. Even though I'm not super confident that I can. Especially right now with my health being as low as it is. Okay. Care about you. I would like some more bombs. Bombs would be a really good way to not take too much damage. No, we're definitely dead here. Yeah. I have literally no idea how that boss works. So that was pretty much a guaranteed dead. Okay. For each negative effect, gain a half soul heart. So we ha the item has to have a negative effect. It's not any effect. Ooh, is that a new enemy? That guy looks new. We are playing on the new patch. So it's very plausible it is new. Oh, hello. So he kind of hangs around and dives towards you and leaves a line of fires. Kind of nice. Yeah, that's one good thing as well. We do start with the Apple of Sodom. So red hearts are somewhat useful for us to find. If we can increase our production of them. Um... Then that's going to be good. For the question of the day today, I'm just going to go with what's the weirdest glitch you've ever seen in a game? What's the weirdest glitch you've come across? I, I'm a, I, I like, I really love glitch hunting. I think glitches in games are, are really, just, just, just like, really interesting to uh, kind of follow and, like, read about and watch videos on. So I'm always, like, glitch hunting and stuff. And I, it, it's kind of, I think it's partly why I loved speedrunning so much, why I still love speedrunning so much. It's a bit sad to not get the secret room there. Um, it partly one of the reasons I think I love um, speedrunning so much is just because, yeah, there's um, there's so much interesting and weird bugs and glitches in games. And while it might not be also taking damage to that guy was a big L, these enemies are just an absolute pain in the ass. Um, while it's not like the best glitch I've ever found, I did find a few glitches in Doom Eternal that um, were part of the speedrun that is actually used for the world record run now. Um, like, a few of the tricks got outdated pretty quickly and aren't used anymore. I think I found around 
five or six pretty major glitches that they came off of the back of other glitches they were using existing exploits existing bugs to manufacture them sort of thing but i found a few that by the way this room is gonna be a very very long room um but there were a few ones that uh like a few paths and things that i found or created that uh ended up being used in the major speed run two of which were like basically completely new uh oh, i'd love i don't know i i really want a a thingy effect, but also Dirty Mind is so fun if we can manage to keep it. Um, just, it, there's so many new poops and stuff that I think it's tried. It's worth it trying to keep this. I really love the redesign of these guys. Remember, this guy's going to shoot out. There you go. we got a Tinted Rock here as well, I think. No health, which is good. Temperance Machine doesn't really do much for us. I really like the way this character looks. Okay, you've set a fire. You've set a blaze there. I didn't realize that the enemy was... Dude, stop. I need to destroy this to let you out. It's okay, though. He wasn't too hard to remove from the premises. This is an XL floor as well. We've got cracked dice here. Um, I don't really think we need that. Toy piano. We do have a dice shard here. I'm obviously going to open this one. Um, let's... Yeah, okay. Toy piano is probably a good one to take, actually. The doom effect could be super useful while we have low health. We'll see. That might have been a bad choice. We'll find out. Or it might be a choice that ends up mattering very little. We never know. But yeah, I gotta say I love glitch hunting. Ever since I, I ever since I was little, since I started playing games, I've always been someone that did glitch hunting. Always like to find the weirdest bugs in like Borderlands and stuff. I'd always try to find like out of map glitches in Call of Duty. I always like finding as well. So how does this toy piano work exactly? There it is. I was gonna say, is it just like a random chance effect to hit a doom? It's gonna be really good for bigger enemies, especially if we don't get any damage upgrades, or especially if we die instantly to a herming enemy. Great. Like I said, going to be some false starts here, I think. Going to be some false starts, I reckon. Feels like I'm but all we need to do is get one or two really, like, interesting deleted items early, and it'll kickstart the rest of the run and give us a good basis to go on. And we'll just, we just have to kind of see how that goes. But yeah, that's, that's always one of the big reasons why I really enjoy watching speedruns. It's just because... Seeing, why do I keep getting hit really early on? Could I just not? It's because I just don't understand. I don't understand what many of these enemies do. So I'm having a really hard time. And starting with one HP is kind of evil. Um, Slightly annoying room here, but we'll be okay. Also, having extra champions is not good. Because we can now get one shot more easily. But this is part of the challenge. I'm enjoying it. Uh, poison Tears, we'll do that. Spawn three moles first, hit each room and lose two cent. On Golden Plum Flute, use Pill. 1.5 damage, on hit, get a temporary. Yeah, we'll take that. And that's going to give us a little bit of HP. So, the three moles that it spawned is on... Was it on hit it said I'm going to spawn three of these dudes? Because otherwise, that's going to be mighty horrible. I don't know why it spawned three on me picking up the item. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. It did give us some damage up, which is really nice. We just don't want to be getting hit, especially on this floor while they can become champions easily. Fuck you, dude. Get away from all the pots. Having a really hard time with them. Try and take out the little pooter shooters first. They're the most annoying. And then, yeah, you... Oh, hello. Hello, bomb. I don't need you around here. I, don't, I never really know with these, like, square flies and stuff how to deal with them. Boom, 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 boom. And boom. Right. You, unfortunately, it did make the boss a champion, which I didn't know was plausible, but... And it's, it's probably one of the worst champions we could have gotten. And it hit me for full heart damage. I'm really going to have some bad starts here. It's going to take us... Okay, that guy's hitbox is apparently massive. We just need a good start. I'm just going to keep saying that. We just need a good start. 
on 34, um, 35 kills, chance to lose. On next floor, uh, on 27, use, use Ancient Recall. Well, I guess I'll take that. It's going to give us some health. Um, this won't do anything for us, luckily. Thank you. Stars card is decent here. I don't know why I just used it. I meant to bit flip. On 34 kills, we, we use that thing twice. That's kind of good if we're in a room with enemies, but if we're not, it, I don't think it'll do anything. We'll see. It's one of the modded items. I like deleted when, when you're playing with modded items, because you can get some really good stuff. But having a little bit of health early is going to be good. We still have yet to make it past the first floor as this character. So me saying that I'm able to do this challenge is um, sounding a little hollow right now. Sounding a little um, not too true. But I think through the power of me being not good at this game, we'll do it. And I know that doesn't make any sense, but if you just believe... It somehow does. Right, grab that. What we got here? We got an empty heart container, which should give us a free one-up, which is interesting. I still don't really know how they work. They seem really buggy the last few times I've had them. It is what it is. Sell heart there. Hey, we get two mini fellas, and they actually have deleted skin as well, which is pretty cool. Oh shit, hello. Too early in the morning for you. It's not early in the morning at all. Just generally too early for you. Don't know why I'm even bother bothering to bomb this. We got a key out of it at least. It wasn't amazing. I probably should use the bomb just for the boss. Okay, so this time this, these are the guys that plant the bombs, right? Luckily, we do have the version where they can kill themselves on spikes, which is mighty useful. It's a little hard to get them to do so. But we got there. And we did get uh, tears up, which I'm going to forego. Every four rooms get um, fat worm, spawn nine throwable bombs, spawn two shop items, use a rune shard, gain damage. On bit flip, 44% chance to lose shot speed. Every six rooms, 18% chance spawn five. Um, yeah, we'll take that. That seems good enough. We got two shop items, which honestly wasn't very good, but there you go. Um... I mean, I mean, they are good, but we can't take them. But we really, this character, we want to be bit flipping as much as possible because we really need the HP that it's going to give us. We also get burn spares here. Um, on going to the next wall, use a pill. Every kill, 50% chance to spawn five trinkets. Um, each ultra secret room, get that upon... Okay, that's fine. So we want to be finding our super secret room. We also got a planetarium here as well, which is rather nice. This one I'm just going to take because that can give us holy mantles. I think that's super, super valuable, so I'm just going to take it. We are going to get a lot of trinkets. <laughs> oh, and it did use it during the room. Nice. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna be using a lot of trinkets by the looks of things. Um, I think, yeah, right now. Um, maybe Brain Worm's the one to take for now. I think it was a 18% chance on kill to spawn five trinkets. Which to me says we're going to be spawning five trinkets quite a lot. Oh my lord. Quite a lot. It'd be very nice to get somewhere to smelt some of these, but I doubt we're going to get that anytime soon. Ooh, crystal keys, pretty good. Things are, things are going to get messy here. Real messy. What's this thing here? Ooh, they make like an infinity around you. It's kind of cool. We don't really know what, what trinket we're looking for, to be honest. We'll just play it by ear. Jump through the burns. It'll hurt you. We also have the chance to lose... Um, to lose out on some shot speed every now and again. We're already down to minimum, so that doesn't really matter for us. Oh, there's some good stuff here. I think this one's really good. It's, it's better than the uh, crystal key, in my opinion. That's pretty actually useful, that. I didn't, I didn't think it'd be that good, but it's proving to be decent. Right, boss time. It's just Dingle. We've got decent damage, so Dingle shouldn't be too bad. We don't have a lot of speed, so... Getting out of the way of you isn't super easy. We've finally got a run that has some legs. Just remember, on the next floor, 
will it'll spawn two random enemies, and that could be really easy or really hard enemies. With it being random, it could cause some problems. I think for the most part, it won't. I think it'll be pretty easy to avoid uh, or kill them, but there is going to be times where they are pretty, tr pretty, pretty tricky. This is another thing as well. We got the chance for golden trinkets to appear, so I'm basically hoping to get like a really good golden trinket. Um, I don't know if they can spawn multiple times, though. I don't know if like once we've seen one, it'll not show up again or something. I have no idea how that's going to work. Latch key doesn't give us any health, so we do that. Lose three cent. Um, every nine rooms, get a temporary one of those. Ooh, yes. Okay, cool. Take that. Uh, down to the next floor. But yeah, going to be taking all the corrupted items. I like the way this, this kind of forces you to. Uh, we got speed down. We also got a portal, which is new. And a fly. One percent chance to lose five bombs. On key, yeah, we'll just take that. Thank you. Hello, mushroom buddy. You you jump, don't you? I remember distinctly that you jump. Oh no no no! You're the ones that that, that create the little spores. The guys that shoot you. They're pretty cool. You're also a tricky bastard with this slow shot speed. You really are. You got you? Ah, oh, you left one little dude as you died. God damn it. My goodness. Oh god, hello. That was pretty cool. Oh damn, you bitch. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, we've got some jar of airs now as well. I like it. Spiders in the house as well. Let's try and get some items here. A little bit hard to push this into the right spot. We got it. There you go. We got an item. I think this is an item we ought to take just to get nine inch nails more often. And actually with a cracked key, secret room is going to be much easier to find. Holy... It's like every trinket in the game. I just wish we had a, a more reliable way to gulp them, or any way to gulp them. Dude, these guys are tricky. Okay. Jar of Air is definitely helping, because we're getting that fart effect every now and again. We need a revive. Uh, we also got some sort of reroll effect there, I heard. We got Lucky's Horns. My goodness. Right. Give me that. What's the uh, the, the, the shell looking thing? After defeating uh, a boss in a boss room, any non-boss enemies will instantly die. That's kind of good. Um, When there is no chaos on the floor, gain stats. Nah, that's fine. I mean, that will end up being gold, which is pretty good. Yeah, that, that's really good, actually. It did cost us HP, but it's really good. But yeah, now we have a really easy and reliable way to find secret rooms. Because uh, I'm just going to hold them to this cracked key. And it's going to help us out immensely. I like the way that even when I deform this enemy, it counts as a kill. Awesome. Is gulped on pickup. Picking up a trinket has a 50% chance to gulp it. We now have a way. Now, it won't gulp all of them. It's only a 50% chance, and once it's not been gulped, it won't be gulped in the future. We have to be careful about which ones we want. We do and don't want to gulp. But this is pretty awesome. <laughs> We've created a very cool run here. The only boss room items that can appear um, are, the, are the ones that modify damage. We don't really want that. Oh, 
Awesome. Right, keep going. Back this way. We got Mum's knife there for a second. Oh my god, there's gonna be so many. It's gonna be nutty. What on earth is that noise? Did I pick up something that gives me funny sound effects? I think I might have. <laughs> Only thing is now we have to try and actually not die. Also, our stats with this thing. Our stats are real good now. Also, Morbid Heart. Sadly, we can't actually pick that up. Why do you use a bomb there? So stupid. We got a random effect there. Here's a bunch of trinkets. Awesome. This is so good. I just hope I don't die, like, really, like, in a really stupid way. Nice. Don't know what killed all of you, but I'll take it. We've also got this damaging thing above our head, which scares me a lot. Can't even pick that up. Ooh, that's a good item. Really? I got like two cent from all of that? Lovely. Anyways, we keep going. Secret room's here. Uh, poop grids have a chance to be converted into shampoo. Shampoo has better drops. Damn. It's annoying when we don't get ones that smell it, but it's also like, hey, her is what it is. Fortune grub. All beggars and slots will display fortune. Fair enough. Um, overhealing charge is a special bar. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? <clears throat> God damn. I still think that there's a really solid chance we die on this run. I don't think that's, like, gonna go away. I do have this thing where everything seems to die when I, uh, hit things. Please, please smell this. Damn you. Such a good trinket. Um, heals a broken heart at the start of each floor. That's also really good to smell. Damn it. Uh, Shattered Soul. Devil Rooms will have an extra item that costs broken hearts. Damn it. Okay. We're not going to win them all, sadly, but I'm, I'm happy with what we got. Okay, I do not like this boss. Ooh, Pride. If, if, please say we get to smelt Pride. Oh, God. Don't die in this room, please. Damn you, game. I have a revive, though. It's somewhat fine. God damn it. Spawn seven trinkets. Smelted cancer, good. Thank you for the holy mantle. That's super, super useful. Damn it, we didn't smell pride. That's so annoying. Um... We got a clot. Um, good. Cursed pennies can drop on room clear. High replacement chance. Now we're fine. Right. We always want to carry this one because this one just gives us a ton of stats. Right. We at least got a Holy Mantle there. I'm very, very annoyed that we lost our um, revive so far. Our health is not looking good. 
but our damage is looking very good. Okay, bunch of eats. I'm just hoping the holy mantle saves us. And then we've got that chance for on-hit gaining a holy mantle. I don't know what keeps happening where everything just dies. I'm not quite sure what's causing that. I'm very happy of it, but I don't know what's causing it. We also seem to have Dirty Mind now. Maybe? Oh, it's because we have that trinket smelted, isn't it? The dingle one. Do oh, yeah, that did smell. Okay, nice. I love it when, like, all of them smell. It's so good. This is just awesome. <laughs> I just wish we were in a situation where we weren't going to die so easily. Because this run is just absolutely fantastic. This is like the coolest run I've ever had trinket-wise and stuff. I can't see what's going on here. Oh shit, that is quite, uh, quite a weird thingy pricing. We got adoption papers, nice. Curved horn, please. Please gulp it. Yes! Monkey's paw is really good too. Gulp that, damn you. I'm so max HP and a morbid heart. Um, each room, 1% chance. Uh, on use of Soul of Isaac, on hit. Um, I think we take this just for the HP. We're firing so many shots. I think it's like every time we kill an enemy, it does like a explosion sort of thing where it opens all the doors and stuff. I have no idea what's going on with that. We've got a lot of effects I don't understand, which could be from deleted stuff, or that could be just from the amount of trinkets that we have currently. I really don't know which it is. Like, I don't know what that, that effect is there. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll take it, but I have no idea what's causing that. Sigil, sigil, sigil. Please smell it. Yes! Paying for a devil deal grants a damage up. Why not? Um, turns all blood donation machines into void donation machines. We don't really care about that too much. Grab that. Grab that. A three cent blue baby sounds good to me. Uh, Brother Bobby, should I say? Anti grab tears. And the other one, put it on there, I guess. Right, bit flip. Every three rooms lose one bomb. Um, on penny, 4% chance to get... Oh, God, no, we don't want that. On. Uh, so let's try re-roll that, shall we? Each boss kill gain a temporary uh, Eye of Roboros. Each, every eight rooms uh, use... No, we don't want that. Need something with a negative effect. Uh, on 29 kills, get Mum's person till hit 5% chance, spawn a random monster. I guess we just take that for the midgy amount of HP that we get here. Is there, please say we have a way to actually kill that guy. Um, right. Keep it going. That did actually smelt that. Nice. We also got a bunch of toy pianos out of that. Which is something. I, I don't know if I'm going to call it good, but it's something. Ooh. I'm going to bomb this to get these out of the way. Because a few of those are really not good for us. I will definitely try and take this, though. It did not gulp us, sadly. We don't want that car battery one, because it can get rid of your uh, thingy items. Damn it, it dropped all the fun ones on the other side, you bitch. Okay, what we got here? We got... Golden penny there, that's nice. Take that. Take that. That. Um, Ten to spicy keys. 
Floor bosses and mini bosses that increase HP but also drop more hearts on death. That does nothing for us. Let's not take that. Okay, I think we're out here. I'm not going to bother with the golden penny. I, I keep picking up the fiend hearts. They're really not good for us. <laughs> I'm getting myself close to death by picking them up. Noisy. Nice. Lost Worm's actually pretty good. Crack D20 could be a problem, but I'll take it. All damage taken gives a broken heart instead. Hell no. Yep, it already fucked me. The, the, the crack D20, I dropped my uh, trinket and it turned it into a pill. So we lost quite a lot of stats there. It's not that bad, really, because our stats are still good. But as you can see, it sh in my opinion, once an item's been touched, it shouldn't be affected. Yeah, maybe shouldn't have taken that one. I didn't really think too much about it prior. Spawn a random monster to lose random item. Delete it now. I don't know if we did lose an item. Wafer is a must take right now. No soul hearts. No, I don't even know why I did that. I don't need the soul hearts, do I? But yeah, the 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 the, the D20 generally not a good choice there. It's it's fine. We'll we'll deal with it, but could be problematic. Certainly really problematic for things I want to keep. Right. I love the wacky tears as well. I love the fact that when we kill one enemy, it seems to kill literally everything in the entire room. I'll take the M trinket, why not? Okay, it doesn't actually do anything with this. Nice. This will be a room where we get quite a lot of trinkets. But that's another thing as well. Now that we've got so many trinkets, it's actually kind of good that we're getting things other than trinkets with the D20 thing. Because now we're getting stuff like this. Nothing smelting here. Oh, that one did. Shots are so wacky right now. Right, where's my item room at? Bunch more trinkets. We do not want the fiend heart there. Do not even bother touching it. Doesn't matter because it's deleted again. God damn it. Yeah, I'll have to bring that up to the developers and say that... I mean, maybe that's like part of the downside of having it, I guess, but... I'd rather it not be. Um, where in the ever-living fuck did all of my health go? Excuse me, game? But where's my health gone? 50% chance to lose a random item, spawn five, poops with five. That could kill us, so we have to... Actually, we do have a holy mantle. I guess I'll pay you out. Eh, maybe, maybe we should go and buy an item from the shop, actually. It's two cent. Every kill, 1% chance to spawn a Viz. I'll just take that for the HP. I'm annoyed that I just lost all my HP. It seems to be something to do with my urn. That cracked urn thing. On death, spawn five bomb grimaces. On grab bag. 
Yes. Nice. That was pretty good. Okay. Still, confusion is rife right now. Confusion is very rife. We just have to accept that. And keep going. We're doing okay. I don't know what all those tears were from. I don't know what this boss is. He looked pretty cool. He is indeed dead now, though. On hit, 6% chance. Yep, so like that. Revelation is just great. I think having flight is going to be super useful, so I'm just going to take that. Also, I think we have Herming. <laughs> uh, we got a little brimstone there at the start of the floor somehow. I don't really know where a lot of this came from, but there you go. Okay, we'll stick with that then. Keep it going. I don't know what's going on with the just, like, mass amount of floating tears. I'll admit, I have no idea what that's about. Right. Where am I meant to be going here? I also need to not constantly take every trinket. Things are going to get a little hard to deal with if we do that. Honestly, just skip that room. It looks annoying. What the hell's this guy? Is this a boss? Oh yeah, hello. <laughs> you took a little while to uh, welcome yourself to the world. On hit 30 chance to spawn around a monster, spawn troll bomb, spawn guts. That was quite a lot of uh, health there for do for picking that one up. So I wanted to take it. You have to be careful we don't get any effects that insta kill us, which we do we have one that brings us down to half a heart randomly, which is scary. I got a trinket that I can't drop here, apparently. Um, I may have ruined things by picking that up. I've got a trinket that I can't drop here that didn't uh, smelt. I mean, I say I've ruined things. We're already in a very good state right now. I don't think I need to worry too much. But yeah, like that, this this doesn't trade look. Eh, it's a pain. Right. Anyhow. I've already got one of those smelted. We got uh, one of those astral challenge rooms here. Like, yeah, I want to pick this up. Oh, that, it did let me, let me pick that one up. Okay. Okay, no, it smelted them now. It got smelted down somehow. I don't know how, but it, it worked. I'm just take that. Don't know how much damage this guy's going to end up doing to me. We do have a Holy Mantle active right now. This guy is kind of tricky. Mainly because of that attack there, but we managed to dodge it somehow. Also, this one can be pretty tricky too. I think we got him. We did. He did the big fat. Beautiful. Guess we'll take that. We got a 1% piece of cheese here. Ooh, no, no, no. Two flesh death heads every time we bit flip sounds pretty awful. I know we don't bit flip that often, but I don't like the idea of that at all. Yeah. You good trinkets? This, this might be one of the highest amount of smelted trinkets in a single run ever. Did we just get really low speed? Or are we kind of stuck? I don't know what this aiming thing is. I'll be honest. 
Deadeye is a very warm welcome to the team. I will 100% just take that. Holy, sometimes this happens where it just spawns like a bajillion trinkets. I, I kill like one enemy and it's like, no, nah, everything's a trinket now. Charred dice would be a good one to hold. Okay, we got that smelted great. Because charred dice uh, gives us a revive. 50% chance of a revive when we die. How have I gone the wrong way this much? And also, why do I feel so slow? I feel like my speed is really low, but it's not. Don't even know why I'm blowing these up. I guess I could get small rock. That would be kind of useful. Golden 404 there. I'm liking my dip friends that I've got going on. I keep spawning these. These these little shop pop-up shops are coming out of nowhere. Eighty-one percent chance to minus nah. That sounds terrible. Uh, what's what the fuck is hurting me right now? I'm so confused. Keep taking random damage. I think I just need to make sure I'm like keeping moving a little more often. Flat file would be good. Yes. What oh, is a gulp flat file there? Oh wait. Oh shit. Did I take the the, the one with the eight one percent chance to lose damage? Because that's gonna be real bad if I did. Because I think we're gonna be losing our damage pretty swiftly otherwise. We're at eighteen point two seven. My damage just went down in this room, but I got awkward, so that might have been why. It's back up to 18 again. I don't know. My, my damage seems incredibly variable right now. I'm going to say I, I think it doesn't matter. Also, we got another cancer trinket there. We started to loop trinkets now. Why? I've just realised. I'm doing all this shit. I can see where the fucking boss room is. What have I been doing? <laughs> and most rooms seem to be clearing themselves pretty much. That's good. There's another sigil of Baphomet there. I could try and maybe get that. I don't know what having two of them even does for us, but... I didn't gulp it, but I'll at least hang on to it. The funny sounds. We got a shop in here as well. Razazel for a moment. Hot diggity damn what happened in here. Every kill 3% chance to spawn 16 buttons. No thank you. Even for health that's not worth. There's a lot going on. Very hard to follow right now. We have a lot of summons. I'll say that. Creatine powder is a must take. Celtic cross is pretty good, but I'm going to bit flip. Takes a ten chance to lose four pennies. Yeah, we'll take that. Let's let's pay out this guy as well, this little fella. I'm slightly annoyed by the sheer just ridiculous amount of things and people we have following us. Pride. Oh, God. Okay, we got two things here, so. Spawn a chub. Uh, every five rooms, summon a blue flame. Every, uh, on red heart, use D8. No. Um. Seventy percent chance to lose one since he is. Um, yeah, we'll take that. 
Holy hell, that fire's huge. Whoa, we, we uh, re-rolled the item there. I don't know how we picked up a penny and it re-rolled the item. This has gotten quite out of hand. Okay, so it seems like taking damage upon getting to the next floor is an, pretty much an inevitability, which is fine because we have um, a holy mantle every floor, so I don't really mind that. But we just have got to be, like, sort of knowledgeable about that fact. I really despise the look of this room. We have flight. What am I doing? I'm like, oh, we need a bomb to get over it. No, we don't. Dullard. Um. Does anyone know what happened there? Anyhow, that was, uh, intriguing to say the least. I guess I had an effect that re-rolled my health or something? Because all my health turned into normal red hearts, and then I just died. And then I got to the next room, respawned with the Onk, died, and then the Chad dice also respawned, and I died. But I'm not quite sure what happened to cause that. Either way, a very fun attempt. Probably one of the funnest runs I've had in a while. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.